we are discussing the topic distance and direction today this is the extension of geometry itself for distance and direction you should be first clear about all the eight direction i'm sure that you remember the eight directions a direction means north south east west you should know where is north where is south where is east where is west and in between that northeast southeast southwest northwest this also you should know so these two these directions please please be clear about it and then pythagoras theorem in some questions pythagoras theorem is needed hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus altitude square in right triangles and triplets which satisfies pythagoras theorem is called pythagorean triplets and any multiple of a pythagorean triplet is also pythagorean these things it is good to remember in geometry classes also we discussed the same uh, pythagoras theorem and pythagorean triplet so these things this much if you know you can do all the questions here so this is december 2019 csa and a problem or if you make an attempt this is a small chapter i am planning to finish this chapter today itself so due to lack of time i am plan i am starting the explanation along with the question itself uh, you people can try later anyway i will start the explanation if you are not finishing trying the question also it's okay okay so let's start karan's house is 20 meter to the east of rahul's house so karan's house if i am representing here east of rahul's house means rahul's house will be somewhere here so that karan's house is east east means in the picture it was east west north south na so uh, with respect to now mehul's house this is 20 meter is given mehul's house is 25 meter to the northeast of rahul's house northeast as you know this is northeast direction so rahul's house northeast direction means something like this this should be mehul's house m for mehul's house if i denote mehul's house is here so now the question is asking yeah this is the most important part with respect to mehul's house in which direction current's house is so you have to take mehul's house as the origin with respect to mehul's house where is rahul's house sorry where is current's house that means this line in which direction that line is standing or that line is lying that is in the south direction na? because if you consider mehul's house as origin current's house will be below it below it means in the direction south is the direction so option b is the answer moreover this is 25 this is 20 means if you want you can find this as 15 using pythagoras theorem because south is perpend south is uh, straight that is perpendicular to east so you can use that also anyway option b will be the answer if the question was slightly different answer will change for example if the question was asking with respect to current house where is mehul house then the answer will be north with respect to mehul house where is rahul house then the answer will be southwest so according to the question or according to which point you are taking as the base or taking as the origin answer will change so here option b south is the answer next question december 2018 csir net exam this question came it is just a direction sense question direction sense question means you just have to draw according to what the question is saying and that will be the answer i will show you a tourist drive 20 kilometer towards east so like this 20 kilometer towards east then question says turns right turns right and drive 6 kilometer that is what the question says then turns towards west west means this direction sorry this direction 6 kilometer then turns left turns left means like this 4 kilometer then turns right yeah facing downward right and left will change in this chapter or in these kinds of scenario when you are doubtful which is right and left what i will suggest is when you draw the picture turn the paper and check turn the paper and check so that you will get an exact idea which is right and left if imagining will be difficult some people turn their head instead of paper and imagine it don't do that instead of that just turn the paper so that it will be easy to understand so from here right will be this direction for sure 14 kilometer towards right that is what the question says now one thing please remember 
This is 6 kilometer. This is 14 kilometer. 6 plus 14 is 20. That means this same 20 is finished. That is why it is in the same line as this. So we can say this point is the finishing point. This point is the starting point. Now what is the question? In which direction is this finishing point from the starting point? From the starting point, this is south. Na? This is south and how much distance? That also is asked. 6 kilometer here. That means this much is 6 kilometer. This much is 4 kilometer. That means 6 plus 4 total 10 kilometer in total. That is why 10 kilometer towards south will be the answer. 10 kilometer towards south like this. Again repeating, this is 6, this is 4, that is why total 6 plus 4, 10. So option D will be the answer. Again, right and left if you are clear, left, east and west if you are clear, this question was straightforward question. And one more thing I will tell you, the answer options also help you to do the question fast. Once you got 10 kilometer, there is only one option with 10 kilometer, then the direction does not matter. Or if you got direction, then 10 kilometer does not matter because all the four options are giving four different directions. Once you go to the south, you can say option D is the answer. And one more thing, some students may think that he is facing this direction, so the answer should be west. No. Question is not asking which direction he is facing. Where is he from his starting point is the question. That means from the initial point, where is he? This is the initial point, so this is the final point means from the initial point is it is in the bottom direction that means below direction that is south direction. Question is not at all asking which direction the tourist is facing now. Yeah, that may be west I agree because as he is moving like this finally, this is the west direction towards that. But that is not the question. From the starting point which direction it is that is the question. I am briefly mentioning one more time, 20 km east turns right 6 km then rise 6 km towards west, he then turns left and 4 km finally turns right 14 km. This is 6, this is 4, that is why it is 4, 10 km towards south. Next question, June 2018 question, here only direction matters, distance does not matter. 4 males M1, M2, M3, M4 are M4 and 4 females F1, F2, F3, F4 are sitting around a table facing away from the table. Facing away from the table, please read it correctly. Facing away means like this, not like dining table setup. It is like a uh, musical chair competition setup. Yeah, I hope all of you know the musical chair competition. When we were young or when we were uh, in school, we used to play musical chair competition. No? Like that they are standing facing away from the table. Now, if each one moves three position to his or her right and then one position to his or her left, then which direction is F4 facing? We are only asked about F4, so don't worry about anyone else. Only think about F4. What is F4 doing? Three positions towards right. One, two, three. Clockwise direction. Right means clockwise direction because she is facing in this direction. So, three movements clockwise. So, one, two, three, three movements means one, two, three, F4 will reach here. And then one position to the left. Left means anti clockwise, opposite direction. That means finally he will reach or she will reach in this direction. Explaining again, this is the, this red dot denote F4. Three positions towards right means like this. Then one position towards left means like this. Which direction she is facing? She is facing away from the table. That is why she is facing to the northeast direction. Between north and east is the northeast direction. So northeast is the answer. Straightforward question. Option B, northeast is the correct answer. A 2 meter long ladder is to reach a wall of height 1.75 meter. The largest possible horizontal distance of the ladder from the wall could be. For making you understand faster, this images will help you. There is a ladder 2 meter long, there is a wall 1.75 meter long. Yeah, definitely the ladder will be uh, placed in an angle. That is why it is longer. It is joining the same base itself, but ladder will be longer as it is placed not uh, perpendicular to the floor like this. So the question is asking largest possible horizontal distance between the ladder and the floor. 
there are many possible horizontal distance all these are horizontal distance possible but largest possible will be the floor to floor distance itself this final one will be the largest possible that is very obvious because that length is the maximum for sure that means if i draw it as a schematic diagram you can draw like this ladder like this wall like this and this x is our required unknown the base to base distance from the ladder to the wall so what you should you what you should do pythagoras theorem because this is a right triangle why it is right triangle because normally the wall should be perpendicular to the floor na it will not be in a different angle so it is 90 degree so you just have to apply pythagoras theorem x square plus 1.75 square equal to 2 square now how to simplify this x square equal to 1.75 square taken to the other side 2 square minus 1.75 square now in csr net exam calculators is, are not allowed till now so 2 square minus 1.75 square to find 1.75 square it may take some time otherwise the mental arithmetic skills i have taught in previous youtube live sessions and all will help you here but there are much easier methods that is using arithmetic step you can do like this a square minus b square is a minus b into a plus b na so 2 square minus 1.75 square you can write it as 2 minus 1.75 into 2 plus 1.75 2 minus 1.75 is what 0.25 into 2 plus 1.75 is what 3.75 0.25 into 3.75. 0.25 into 3.75 means 0.25 is nothing but 1 by 4. 1 by 4 into 3.75. 1 by 4 into 3.75 means here you can logically think. Look at the four answer options. There are two options which is saying one is less than one, one is more than one. So let's try that. Whether the answer is less than one or more than one. How? We have finally got it. Got it as 3.75 by 4. 4 by 4 is exactly 1, na. So 3.75 by 4 will be less than 1 because 3.75 is less than 4. 4 by 4 itself is 1 only. So 3.75 by 4 will be less than 1. So the answer will be slightly less than 1 meter. That is why the options are given like that because they don't want you to uh, do more math. They want to check whether you are logically thinking and skipping the options and directly reaching at the answer. Slightly less than one. So option A is the answer. Next question, June two thousand fourteen. This question came. An archer climbs to the top of a ten meter high building and aims at a bird on top of a tree seventeen meter away from the building. That means building and tree distance is seventeen meter in between. The line of sight of the archer to the bird makes an angle of forty five degree to the horizontal. What is the height of the tree? Line of sight means. One po possibility is like this, but this is not forty-five degree. This is minus forty-five. That is why this may not be the case. And from the question also, it is evident that the tree should be more height than the building. Or look at all the four options. That also give you a clear idea that the height of the tree is more than the height of the building. By height of the building is only ten. So all the four options are saying more than ten. So definitely, this is not the situation. the situation will be like this the building smaller like this from the top of that building the archer is aiming at the bird on the top of the tree like this at a 45 degree angle that means his line of sight is making an angle 45 degree so this is the picture from this picture what you need to find the height of the tree height of the tree till here we know this much is 10 this much is 10 So the extra distance, this much is what we want to find. So let us take that extra distance above the height of the building. Let it be x. So this is x. But x is not the answer. Remember, x plus ten is going to be the answer because total height of the tree is the question. But we know that the building and the tree is seventeen meter apart. So if you draw the picture, this seventeen will be equal to this seventeen because this length is also seventeen. Why we need that? because we want a triangle so that we can easily find that value using trigonometry or using geometry both are possible so this is what we are doing now 17 this is 17 this is 45 degree yeah how this is 17 that is what i'm going to explain yeah that we haven't done yet this is 17 na huh? this is 45 degree this is 90 degree 
So the remaining will be 45 degree using the angle sum property we learned. School days you have learned. In the geometry class we have discussed that also. So using angle sum property 45 plus 90 plus something is 180. So that something should be 45 for making it 180. That means if this is 17, this is an isosceles triangle. Why isosceles triangle? Because two angles are 45 equal. Two angles are 45 means two angles are equal means for isosceles triangle opposite sides are also equal. That also we discussed in the geometry chapter. Which two opposite sides? Except the hypotenuse other two sides will be equal simply speaking. So if this is 17 we can say this is also 17. That is why I have written 17 here. That means the length above the height of the tree, height of the building is 17, already 10 meters. So 10 plus 17 will be the final answer. 10 plus 17, 27 is the final answer, 27 meter. So option B. Next question, June 2013 CSAR net problem. A bee leaves its hive in the morning and after flying for 30 minutes due south, due south means towards south, reaches a garden and spends 5 minutes collecting honey. That means uh, the bee is spending 5 minutes there. Then it flies for 40 minutes due west. Due west means towards west and co collects honey in another garden. There also 10 minutes spending. Then it returns to the hive taking the shortest route. Shortest route means the straight line route is the shortest route. How long was the bee away from its hive? That means what is the time he is outside the hive? Total time he is outside the hive. That is the question. And this is a very important information that the bee flies at a constant speed. Speed is not varying. So speed is not varying means this minute you can consider as distance itself because let the speed be 1 meter per minute. 1 meter per minute means 30 minutes, 30 meter will be traveled, 40 minutes, 40 meter will be traveled so that you get a connection with the distance for that I am saying. So this is what is happening, the B is moving towards south, 30 minutes taking. Then the bee is moving towards west, 40 minutes taking and spending 10 minutes in that garden also. And finally, moving in a straight line like this, from this garden to the back to the beehive, going in a straight line. That means this is just a right triangle path, right triangular path like this. Beehive, south, west, back to the beehive. 30 minutes, 40 minutes. As I told, this can be considered as distance. This is right triangle means 30, 40 means third side will be 50. You see Pythagorean triplet you can do that because 3, 4, 5 is a Pythagorean triplet. 10 times of it is 30, 40, 50. So third side will be 50. Otherwise use normal Pythagoras theorem root of 30 square plus 40 square. That will take a little more time. That's why I am saying you should know when two sides are 30 and 40 respectively, third side will be 50. So anyway, um, you got the shortest route as 50 meter. Now what is the answer? This is where many people make mistake. They think that this 50 is what the question is asking. No. Question is asking how much time the bee was away from the beehive. The time bee was away from the beehive will be 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes the travel time plus that 5 minutes spent in this garden plus the 10 minutes spent in this garden because that is also the time he is outside the home or outside the beehive. So, 30 plus 40 plus 50 plus 5 plus 10, 135 minutes will be the answer. So, option C, 135 is the A bird perched at the top of a 12 meter high tree sees a centipede moving towards the base of the tree from a distance equal to twice the height of the tree. Height of the tree is 12 meter. So, twice the height of the tree means 12 into 2, 24 meter is the distance of the base of the tree from the centipede. Bird flies along a straight line to catch a centipede. So, the bird is here, centipede is here. Bird is moving like this, centipede is moving like this. After some time, the bird is catching the centipede. And one more very important information, both are moving at the same speed. Centipede and bird are moving at the same speed. That information is the primary reason why we will get the answer easily. Otherwise, it will take a lot of time and almost impossible to answer it. If this data is not given that they are moving at the same speed. And what distance from the base of the tree will the centipede be picked up by the bird? That means the time when the bird is catching the centipede, at that time centipede was how much away from the base of the tree. So this is the situation initially. The bird is seeing the centipede and the height of the tree is 12 meter. 
the distance of the centipede from the base of the tree is 12 into 224 meter. The centipede is moving towards the base of the tree like this. The bird is catching it after some time moving in a straight line. It is estimating the path and moving in a straight line with the same speed as the centipede. So at this particular moment, what is the distance of the centipede from the base of the tree? That means this is our required unknown. Let x be the required unknown. This line, this length is what we want to find. This length if you want to find means total is 24 so that Distance already travelled by centipede will be 24 minus x. Total 24. X is required unknown means remaining will be 24 minus x. Now, now is the most important thing. The distance, speed are same. Speed are same. Time are also same. So definitely distance travelled by both the objects also should be same now. Because speed is equal to distance by time or distance equal to speed into time. Speed and time equal means distance travelled also should be equal. So, speed of the bird, time of the bird is equal to uh, speed of the centipede, time of the time taken by centipede respectively. So, definitely distance travelled by both of them will also be equal. So, we know this is 24 minus x. As this is 24 minus x, we can say this is also 24 minus x because speed and time are same. Now you can easily find it using Pythagoras theorem because this is a right triangle. This is 12, this is x, this is 24 minus x. Apply Pythagoras theorem. 12 square plus x square equal to 24 minus x the whole square. Either you can expand the brackets and simplify like this. But it may take some time. Otherwise the simple way I can say is. In this equation substitute the options because options are giving you the value of x. Which x will give you this equation satisfied? That is what we are checking. That way also you can do. I will show that also. Once you got the equation, yeah, till equation forming, you have to follow after that. 12 square plus x square equal to 24 minus x the whole square. If you put options, if option A is substituted, what you will get? 16 is x. 12 square plus 16 square equal to 24 minus 16, 8 square. But that is not possible at all because how 12 square plus 16 square can be a smaller number square. So this is impossible. That means there is a contradiction. If option A is the answer, there is contradiction. So try option B. Same way you try option B. X is 9. So 12 square plus 9 square is it equal to 24 minus 9 the whole square. 24 minus 9 is 16 square. Yeah, check it out. You will get it as correct. 12 square is 144, 9 square is 81. When you add it up, you are getting 256. So that means if option B is the answer, there is no contradiction. So option B is the correct answer. Again, either you can continue doing direct mother or elimination mother, you can mix it with the direct mother. Actually, there is a third way of doing this question also because of the nature of the answer option. Listen very carefully. Here look at the answer option, 16, 9, 12, 14. The picture we drawn, the this picture we drawn, like this we drawn, 24 minus x, that right triangle only we are explaining. Instead of using Pythagoras theorem, due to the nature of answer option, you can easily find the answer by this idea. This is the slanted line or this is the hypotenuse, that will be greater than this side. That means we can clearly say 24 minus x will be greater than 12 in this picture. Two ways you can interpret because either it is hypotenuse idea you can use. Otherwise, if you just have a straight line and a slanted line, slanted line will be more height, more length than the straight line. One previous question also we discussed this now. The ladder have higher length than the wall as it is connecting the same base and the height. So 24 minus x is greater than 12. What is the meaning of 24 minus x greater than 12? If you take 12 to left side, 24 minus 12 greater than x. That means 12 greater than x. The number 12 is greater than our required unknown. Number 12 is greater than required unknown means our number is less than 12. I mean the required answer is less than 12. So the answer which is less than 12 only can be taken as the correct answer. As I showed you the answer option, the only option which is less than 12 was 9. 
that is why the answer is 9. This is a faster way but I will not suggest you to depend on this method in these kinds of question because if they having given options this much simple, you cannot do that method. That is why the first method itself depend on it. But in case the options are simple, you can go for the answer directly. This was asked in a, another CSAR net exam where the options were not this simple. Only because one option is less than 12, you can say that this is the answer. If there was one more option less than 12, you cannot say 9 is the answer by this idea. So, if that is clear, try the next question. Very similar to previous question, same question almost. Just the numbers, they have slightly changed. So, a peacock perched on top of a 12 meter high tree spots a snake moving towards its hole at the base of the tree from a distance equal to thrice the height of the tree. Thrice the height of the tree means 24, 3 times, sorry, 12, 3 times, 36. So, you can draw the picture like this peacock here, 12 meter high tree and the distance of the snake from the base of the tree is 36 meter. So, the peacock is moving like this and the snake is moving like this and it is catching after some time. So, just like the previous question, the record unknown I am taking as x. Record unknown I am taking as x means remaining will be 36 minus x. Again, question also says same speed just like the previous question. Same speed, same time. So, definitely this distance travelled by them also is same. Distance travelled by the centipede, sorry, here the snake. Snake is 36 minus x. So, distance travelled by the peacock also should be 36 minus x. That is how you can complete this right triangle to apply Pythagoras theorem. 12 square plus x square equal to 36 minus x the whole square. Here if you check you cannot use a second method because the options are not actually supporting it. There are multiple options which support that, that idea. That is why you have to either expand the square, expand the bracket and find the value. Otherwise, elimination method still works. Elimination means on this equation you can put the answer options just like previous question. On this equation how to put answer option? Let us see the answer option once again. So, the Pythagoras theorem or Pythagoras theorem application we did is 12 square plus 36 minus x the whole square equal to 12 square plus x square equal to 36 minus x the whole square. Hypotenuse is 36 minus x the whole square. Now, you can substitute each answer option. Let x be 16. Required unknown I am assuming as x. So, if option A is the answer, option A is the answer means 12 square plus 16 square equal to 36 minus 16 is 20. 20 the whole square. 12 square is 144, 16 square is 256. Adding it up, you will get 400. Yeah, left hand side also is 400, 20 square is also 400, so no contradiction, so option A is the correct answer. Is it clear? So that is how you can do the question, as it is the same repeat of the previous question, I think this much explanation is enough, so 16 will be the answer. So these were the CSAR net questions from this topic, this is just a homework question, not a CSAR net problem, just for you to practice, this question is given, one more question I will give, the solution also is given here.